Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I'm a little late with my rocking around the Christmas tree um, project pan update number one. But I guess a couple of days late is better than never getting it up, so... I'm glad I am getting it up here. I've had to make some changes only because after learning that I was kind of doing panning wrong, I want to I want to do it right. And wow, my eyes look like black. Wow, hello. Anyways, um, I want to do it right. So I've made some changes to the things that I had overlapping. So anything that was overlapping with a project that I already have um, had going at the time that I did this intro, I just switched those. And so I kept the same songs, I just changed the items. So with that, let's just jump in. You guys will get an update on where I'm at on the ones that stayed and you'll get to say hello to some new ones. So I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I have to read, but I took them off because that glare is so bad. And so I thought you guys might like to see my little face somewhat. And I got my little handy dandy list here, so I'm just going off of it. The first one on the list is White Christmas, and this is Irving Berlin's, um, first verse that has been dropped off the more traditional white Christmases that are out there. In fact, um, as I reported in my intro, this is only, this first verse is only on five Christmas albums. So that says quite a bit. And I picked that song and that first um, verse by Irving Berlin for the word orange. And since my product was already in another one, I um, changed it to my Anastasia Beverly Hills orange soda eyeshadow. And this is very pretty, but I think I've used it only a few times and I haven't used it since I put it in this project. So that is orange soda. I will love to just make a little movement on it. I'm not even sure I'll get a dent because they're packed in pretty hard. At least on the singles. My singles are. The second one is Ding Dong Merrily on High. And here it is, sorry. What I have is my Flower in Your Prime Hydrating primer and I am I marked myself about right there and there's kind of an air bubble but I've been using this all month so I'm going to guess I'm about right there so I will mark myself oh, sorry oh And I'm going to put that mark back on there just because it was rubbing off. Then the never, then the next one is never shown a light so fair. And that was for my CoverGirl concealer in fair. And I'm kind of afraid to roll it all the way up. That's where we're at. It broke at the back. And so it's tipping over. So um, I didn't measure it last time, but there was significant more. I've been using it um, almost every day. The only days I haven't been using it is on days that I don't feel well. So um, I'm hopeful that I will get that done probably. I'm thinking November, but definitely by Christmas. 
The next one is Here We Come a Wassailing. And for that, I picked my Sexy Hair Love Oil. And that is it. I didn't have it last time, but it was brand new, so it was right there. Now it's right there. And I really like that. It smells really good and it makes my hair really soft, so I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I will get it all done because in a month's time I sure didn't move very much. So, you know, just using it in this project I think will be good. The next one is Hot Cocoa in My Cup by Alisa Turner. And I picked my Becca Apri Ski palette and I don't want to flash you but it's gonna happen just because the nature of this. And this is hot cocoa. I just wanna make a dent in that. And I haven't even made a smidge of a movement on it. So I think I'm gonna have to use it more, but I have been using it. So I'm not quite sure what the strategy with that is, but I'm gonna work on it. All right, the next one is Aspen Glow by John Denver, which was on his Rocky Mountain Christmas um, album. And I picked my Bare Minerals Bear Pro Powder Foundation in Aspen 04. It had been in a previous pan, which had finished, and I rolled it into here. I am hoping just to get even a hint of pan. <laughs> but I have this big circle going on, so I'm hoping. But it is pressed in there good. Then the next one is 12 Days of Christmas, and I used it for my Peck and Sniffs England Cucumber and Pear Luxury Body Scrub, and that red line is where it was and we are down to there and that is kind of guesstimating because it is kind of a slippery little booger if you, I'm afraid it'll all fall out. Ah! It will all fall out if I dump it. But see, it just moves and I tried to get some type of measurement but it's kind of all stuck. See, I can hold it that way and it's kind of just all stuck up in that corner. So I think maybe one more use out of it. Maybe. But it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells wonderful. Now I have dry body scrub. <laughs> On my sheet. Okay, next one is the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, and there's no way to show you the measurement on this, but this is my Scone Cosmetics Eyeliner in Plum, and as you can see, the wording is all rubbed off, but there's no way to measure this. I just put it in here because I really like this eyeliner, and so, and I love the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, and so I I was using it all the time anyway, so I thought I'd put it in here. And that is it right there. But I do like it because with even with my shaky hands, I can get somewhat of a decent line on. Okay, the next one, next one is one I had to change. And it's the We Three Kings. Um, I had brought in my Dead Sexy perfume, and so I've replaced it. I was gonna make a frankincense and myrrh body oil, but I was too lazy. So I found um, my Rag and Bone incense. Maybe I, if I held it right. Um, I don't know, is it gonna focus? This is, a scent bird file but this has myrrh in it and so um, that is in keeping with the fourth verse which goes something like myrrh the bitter perfume or something like that 
so I am right here. I don't have a lot, but I have that, um, sorry about that, um, perfume roulette going on. So this kind of will get used when I either run out of those ones, you know, during the week, or I just need a break for a moment. Okay, the next one I have also was changed. Um, this was Christmas As I Knew It by Johnny Cash. Um, it was, I can't remember how the stanza, but it had coal oil and hickor nuts was um, the line. And I had put in my L'Occitane Divine Youth Oil, but that was already in a project. So I've brought in this jo Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil Face Butter. I haven't even used it, not once. So this is brand new to the project. Then this one is getting changed as well. It's the one by Canned Heat. It's Christmas Blues. Now, I was going to bring in a can, and then I thought about bringing in a blue eyeshadow or a blue eyeliner. I had a can of dry shampoo at once, and I just decided to go with a packaging that was blue, and that's this Avatar Drink Up Face Mask. And yes, this is one is kind of a gimme, but I need kind of a gimme on this one. So that is what I am putting in place of my L'Occitane Divine Youth Oil. Oh, nothing like taking my face out. Okay, the last one is Christmas Girl by Vanilla Sky. And I had what did I have? Or maybe that was where I had the perfume, the dead sexy perfume. Regardless, I don't even remember what I had. Oh, my vanilla quartz highlighter. Sorry, I had my vanilla quartz highlighter here and that was in um, my Wyoming project. So I've brought in my Huda Beauty palette, which was picked as the palette for me to work on off of, off of my smaller um, large, off of my, yeah, my smaller large eyeshadow palettes. And so I have picked this, it, they don't have names, so I'm picking this vanilla colored eyeshadow down at the bottom. Um, and I would just like to make some movement, a little dent of some sort would be great, just using it would make me happy. So that um, replaced my Vanilla Quartz by Becca on that. So that is my update on the Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. A little shifting has happened, but I think we're good to go now with this, um, this project. And I'm losing my mind. You guys, you guys have a great day. Go check out the links below to all the others who are participating in this project pan and see how they're doing. I hope they didn't have to change half of their products because they knew how to pan. I'm hoping. With that said, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.